Hey guys, it's Cryptomio Analysis coming at you with an update video on Doge on Mars. Uh, I am the number one Doge on Mars content creator on YouTube, self-proclaimed. Uh, I will relinquish that title if we add a zero and make it uh, basically if we go down to seven zeros one, which is literally take this number divided by 10, which is probably never going to happen. Anyway, it's interesting because I'm on Gemini right now. And I'm like, ooh, it's about time to get in, right? Like, I've literally been waiting for, uh, when was the last time I bought? Yeah, January. So, or I think it was January or it was November. I'm not sure. I have to check. But anyway, it's been like a long time. And we can look at, you guys can, if you guys are were with me since November of last year, you would know how long it's been. But I've been saying that we, you know, I still need my 7.6 billion coins but I'm waiting for the RSI to go in the red. And funny enough, it's actually still not in the red. So I, I was like, oh man, surely it has to be in the red by now, right? Uh, but it's actually not. So, but but I, 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 I went to check because I, I, was gonna, I was gonna put in a buy order. Because again, like you can see we're, uh, as far as support goes, we are at around, we, we're like literally on Gemini 1293. We're almost there, so 12.93 is here. But the problem is that I looked at the buys and there's literally someone buying 116 billion at 34, uh, 134, and then another 113 billion at uh, 33. So, um, yeah, so I mean, it, it's very interesting. Uh, they, they're like, you know, buyers are clearly interested at this price. Keep in mind that they could pull this at any point because like, you know, they could see that there's no selling, no more buying until like uh, in the 11s. So it's always minus one. So it's 12, it's, it's always that much up until 11. Um, anyway, there's, there's also 566 billion, billion buy orders at uh, 120, uh, within 110 and 120. Which to me is very interesting. Uh, anyway, it, you know, you can check it out. Go look at the buy walls and sell walls on Gemini. Uh, but I did find it interesting. Just remember that like at any point they could pull this. So I think it's like a bait where it's like, oh man, like if you want to get out, get out now. So like for someone like me, I don't even have that much. But like say I'm like, you know what? I'm over this. Like I'm, I'm done. I want to sell. I'm going to sell 100% at, you know, the ask. Or sorry, not the ask. The 34 and I'm getting back like that much, right? So I'm like, oh, like I'm, I'm over it. I wanna sell it, bam, sell. Let me delete this before I accidentally sell. Uh, but that's why I think, I, I, I don't know. I mean, again, you can clearly see there's only so much more down, down, down downward momentum, I guess we have. I, at this point, I don't know if this drop, like how much is this? It's another 7%, yeah. I don't know if that's gonna necessarily put us in the red like it did here. I'm waiting to get something like this. Uh, and that's what, and again, that's what that's what I've been waiting for this entire time. Yeah, so I didn't buy here. I remember, remember I was like, oh, it didn't go in the red, so I didn't buy. Yeah, so the last time I bought was here, around this area, uh, here. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't think I got this like massive liquidity spike because I don't think it went down low, that low on Gemini. I think uh, I ended up paying a little bit more for it, but regardless, it doesn't matter, just FYI, I'm just, I'm just saying that because, you know, people need to, you guys need to understand, like, you don't need to go all in. 90% of the time, the Bitcoin, uh, the 99% uh, of the time, the market's basically dumping. So you really want to, like, t be smart and strategic with when you buy. And, for example, I haven't bought in August, uh, oh, yeah, like a year. Wow. I don't know. It's been a, it's been a long time. Uh, but... And, and again, look, you guys see I have this coin. So it's like this coin's been, this coin, this amount literally went all the way up and then all the way back down to now I'm like, I think I'm so, I think I'm down actually. Yeah, because my buy was like here, it was like, it was a little bit more. Yeah, I was like 34 or 38. So anyway, uh, just, you know, food for thought, uh, you know, a lot of people are panic selling right now, which is, I think, why somebody's like, oh, like, I'll buy your guys' coins for this cheap. Uh, but 
at any point they could pull this because the next level down is around 11. So that's gonna demoralize people. So say I'm like contemplating, and I'm not, I know I'm not the only one, but I, I, this happened to me last bull run, which is why I understand it, the feeling, where you're like, man, I should just cut my losses. Like I'm just gonna sell and buy back later or whatever. So while that's going on, this either somebody else sells or they pull this and then you're stuck. You're like, oh man, now I can't, now that I'm gonna lose even more money because I have to sell down here at around 11. Um, and then people end up just selling their coins for super cheap and that's usually what is, a, you know, seals the deal, pushes this in the red and then that's when we finally get that reversal uh, we're looking for. Uh, so if you're overextended, that's not good. You have to do what's best for you. This isn't financial advice, but this is just my experience in the crypto market. And if you're like having these feelings, just know that if you're having these feelings, just know that you're probably overextended. You probably put more money into the crypto market than you should, or at least Elon that you should. And if you're constantly looking at it, you deep down know, I don't have to tell you, you don't have to hear it. Like it's not healthy, right? It's really not. Like you're always looking at your phone. And that was me back when I had XLM in 2018 and 19. So uh, if you can relate, just know that this is normal. This happened last bull run. Uh, and at this point, if you don't wanna lose any money or if you're just like, you know what, this double bottom, you just gotta hold it out and wait for it to go up. Uh, and again, like, you know, some hopium, right? Like when we were back over here, which I actually wasn't here, uh, imagine all these people that bought here and then it went all the way back down to these lows. Uh, they were like, man, like what a, what a stupid coin. This thing's gonna just keep falling and going down, right? And then what, what happens? You know, this floored for, let's see how many days this actually floored for. Uh, oops, wrong one. Yeah, so 101 days and then uh, we started to move up. So how many days has it been here? Probably definitely more than 101 days, but let's just check. So here, oops. Yeah, so now we're going on a year, 352 days. So we've been literally the same price, almost the same price, we're still up for almost a year. So that is demoralizing for sure. Uh, so again, just be strong and uh, you know, you gotta do what's best for you. If you gotta, if you need to sell, then you need to sell. Nobody's gonna judge you for it. And uh, if you're buying, then you know, you see the opportunity that you're getting in these lows. Uh, the only reason why I don't wanna buy is because for me, uh, and, and, and I do wanna buy in the red, right? But for me, it just doesn't make sense because like I bought, I don't wanna buy for the same price that I bought back here. So my goal is because I have the coins I need, I'll just wait until it goes lower and that way I could dollar cost average down rather than up. So again, it's all about having a plan. So uh, for me, it's like, oh man, it doesn't make sense to dollar cost average up. I wanna get it for as cheap as possible because either way, we have our coins anyway. So you don't need to buy right now. You don't need to feel like you need to buy because usually if you do that, then you overextend yourself and then you're like, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell and then you're gonna get chopped up and you know, you know the deal. So I hope this resonates and you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, before I go, let me look at the ether scan and thank you for everybody that watches these videos in length. So far I have like five people for the giveaway. So if you wanna enter the giveaway, uh, put hashtag giveaway with a cat emoji or whatever, uh, whatever works for you, cat, dog, any animal. Uh, no in transactions for the Binance Pack token wallets. And let's see the burn wallet. I don't think that, I think that my transaction is still the last one. So, yep, my transaction still the last one. My $19 is now worth $14. So, anyway, again, I hope this, I hope this resonates with people. Don't be scared, right? Like, you know, we, we're literally the same price that we are. So now is the time to play it smart, right? Now is the time that, oh, okay, like now I'm gonna start a position. Or, well, I already bought here, so I might as well wait until this thing goes, uh, you know, until this thing goes even further, further down. For example, say like, you know, we wait another like three months, right? Say we wait another three months and something like this happens. I'm just gonna take this as an example. So like, 
even take it from the drop, yeah. So like something like this happens, where it's like, ooh, like that's that's very bearish, blah, blah, blah. We already knew that, but and now we're just like waiting and we're just stuck in this, you know, this horrible channel. And, and the thing is that like now you can get the price for even cheaper. So, you know, like you bought here, now you're finally down on your position and you get to buy even more at a 50% discount because you know you didn't buy when it was going up you bought it not even when you got back to the original price that you bought but you bought it for cheaper than what you originally bought it at so anyway i hope that makes sense please like subscribe comment uh, i'm curious to see if someone's going to either sell or if this is going to go away and we're going to turn bullish and the buy wall or the sell wall is going to get eaten up Keep in mind that all the way up until 150, 160, there's about 100 billion, which is nothing. That's like, I mean, I guess it's not nothing, but that's like probably around $12,000. So so eventually when this turns bullish, you know, we're, we're gonna get a big candlestick up probably, or at least a liquidity wick or a wick back up um, for, you know, buy, a lot of buying happening. And then we'll see where the price goes. If it doesn't fall back down, it's bullish. Hopefully we break over two. 20 uh, and if not then we're you know obviously this this support at 12 is still valid so 12 to 13 uh, please like subscribe comment thank you so much for your support uh, please tag hashtag giveaway with a cat emoji and I'm gonna do the drawing next Saturday and Friday is the last day to enter so just keep that in mind I will catch you guys in the next video